Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jonas Anthony, CH Motion, and I'm back here with some Rising Storm 2 detailed reveal information. Uh, the uh, um, reveals we're gonna be uh, covering today are the August 19, August 26th, and August 30 this year. And first of all, we're gonna have a look here at the gore mechanic. So it's a uh, it's very interesting. Uh, people have been talking a lot on the forums. I've been seeing about you know oh is there gonna be gore? Is it gonna be blah blah blah? You know, and it, for me that's not the most interesting part. You know, it's of course it's uh, it's it's nice that things like you know people get shot and people get ripped apart and you know all that stuff that's uh, very fine and it's uh, it's all good and uh, you know I enjoy it as much as the next guy. But that's not you know I'm I'm more here for the core mechanic. But it's uh, it looks like as you can see here, it looks like it's gonna be absolutely beautiful and, and you're gonna see people fucking get wrecked left right and center and second of all here it's actually one of the most interesting updates we'd have in a, in a while here with rpg 7 backblast a lot of people have been talking about this and uh, here we see the examples of it um and uh, my fear is that uh, this is gonna be the new uh, kind of suicide satchel can you guys imagine if if you just ran into a room filled with enemies and just ran past them and just fired your rpg no, that could be absolutely hilarious. So that you actually use the backblast as a weapon. I really hope that the Tripwire have have an antimatter gaming have really have some thoughts about how to re avoid people actually not abusing, but you know just taking you know an unthought advantage for the uh, for this uh, this backblast mechanic and and actually just run up and backblast people because that that would be a very interesting room uh, room clearing technique let's imagine that that the rooms are dynamic so you can actually kill people in rooms with backblast because of the uh, the pressure wave and, and 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 so on let's say that instead of throwing a hand grenade in i just back up to the room the door and just fire the uh, backblast of the rpg into the uh, into the uh, room and if there is an army distance arming distance for the rpg nothing will happen to me because the backblast goes into the room and the grenade goes into the wall or whatever you know so i really hope that uh, that they uh, they thought about that yeah and now we're gonna come to probably what what everybody has been talking about what everybody has been uh, seeing it is the helicopter so they announced here at the, at, the, uh, at August uh, 30 that um, here it is, guys. Here it is, the helicopters. They are going to be flying and flyable helicopters. Um, and uh, as we watch the trailer here now, it's uh, it's beautiful. You can both see the artillery explosions. We can see here the uh, airplane drops, and uh, you know it's uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I especially looking forward to that little bird. You see the little bird flying with the Gatling gun and the uh, and these what is called it was a seven inch or something. I don't know. The Americans can correct me. Those rockets underneath the little bird. What was it? One point seven five inch rockets or whatever it's called in the, in the American. So um, so that, that's that's very very interesting. Um, Tripwire uh, haven't discussed you know what is gonna be the length. Of, uh, I've been talking to my sources in try it, uh, uh, inside uh, Antimatter and Tripwire uh, around, you know, what is going to be the ceiling, what is going to be the envelope of the map, you know, what altitude can the helicopters go to, you know, what, how wide is the map going to be, because it, say you have a helicopter that comes at, like the Cobra that comes at 300 something kilometers an hour or whatever, diving, you know, how much room that they're gonna have to maneuver what kind of angles can you get because some of the footage here that i see i know that this is a um that this is a like a gameplay trailer um but uh, but as i see it you know there's a lot of those uh, airplanes that would be uh, helicopters that would be pretty pretty easy to shoot down with an uh, with an rpg um, they of course say that the planes are not going to be fireball that's just going to be the artillery so uh, so that that is uh, that is very interesting uh, one thing I got a, um, a thing of the uh, of the forum here, uh, or, or it's uh, not a forum, it's a, it's a Twitter feed thing, and uh, you know at the Cobra, this is gonna be interesting. There's gonna be a pilot and a gunner in the Cobra, so we're gonna see s some sort of uh, cooperation here. You know, we're gonna have people that are gonna have to uh, cooperate together, and uh, as I understand it here. Uh, they discuss like the map rooms, so you guys are gonna be saying, "Hey, is this guy's just being traditional, orchestra?" But some of these maps are gonna be built up more like the Battlefield franchise. So you're gonna have a lot of objectives that's gonna be able 
to you're gonna be able to attack these objectives. I'm gonna be linking a PC gamer article uh, down below. You can go check out where they're talking uh, a bit more about this. But you know, you're gonna have a very dynamic battlefield. So let's say we have uh, uh, capture points one, two, five, and uh, you know, let's say that we mine some of our uh, some of the objectives, and the Americans bomb some of the objectives, and and so on. And 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 that's that's very interesting. Uh, that it's going to be very dynamic. One of the other things that I, you know, really th um, thought about when I read it and I talked to my sources inside uh, the development team is the whole spawn mechanics. You see, the Americans are going to have these airdrops and the Ruskies, so not Russians, but the the uh, Vietnamese, uh, the NBA and the VC are going to have um, spawn tunnels. So they had a lot of thought about actually, you know, how these spawn tunnels are going to work. And it's actually going to be the squad leader that's going to put down these rally points or spawn tunnels all over the map. So, you know, you can, uh, as the VC, you can pop up, you know, anywhere. It's not going to be like uh, you spawn down in a cave and then you have to run up through a tunnel. Um, I read that they said that would be too complicated and you know you would get too little out of it actually for all the work it would take so you're gonna actually gonna spawn up somewhere on the ground and gonna be able to get straight into the fight and this is gonna be very interesting because that's gonna you know it's gonna create a lot of ambush mechanics and you know you're gonna be able to 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 do that and 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 also the interesting thing is that the helicopters and all those things are gonna have like air bases to take off from it's gonna be very interesting if you can actually attack these air bases and kill the helicopters and and so on on the ground that that's gonna be very interesting to me if you can if you can do stuff like that and uh the second twitter feed here you're gonna be seeing is uh, we have uh, some talk about a 30 round 20 and 30 round magazine uh, as we talked about, uh, I think in my first video, the introduction to a uh, breakdown of the first trailer. And then I got this from uh, Chicken from Antimatter Gaming, and he talks about the controls of the helicopter. Um, and of course, these 30 round magazine. But what I'm interested in is, is there's not going to be no AI tracker uh, as of right now. And of course, the controls of the helicopters right now is mouse and keyboard. So they also talk about that it's going to be like very battlefield like controls of the helicopters. Um, you know, somebody might say, of course, this is not an, uh, a flight simulator, but, you know, there is pros and cons to that. It's, you know, you know it's not going to be extremely difficult for the pilots, but it's, you know, I, I don't know. There's going to be a, a, a common ground there. It's how easy do you want it? How difficult do you want it? But this is uh, this is very interesting. And, uh, you know, again, I, I show you some pictures here of the, the cash machine gun. Uh, actually anti-aircraft emplacement that's gonna fucking rip up helicopters and as you see in the trailer you know there's very dynamic uh, damage to the helicopters uh, as well as uh, as these nice uh, explosions you know you see the the willy pete uh, the uh, the uh, you know white phosphorus artillery rounds and, and the different weapons here um, and again uh, also this picture right here of the uh, nva in these special uh, this special camo and and one thing i want to notice and uh, put attention on is is the guy in the background with the uh with the machine gun the pkr pkr yeah uh, that puts uh, it uh, actually puts it on the fence so you can actually deploy the bipods on the fences and uh, you know that's that's it's a, it's a good thing they keep that in and uh, and all that stuff and and, and this camo somebody again can probably recognize this camo but uh, but they are saying also in that post i referenced before they talked about these uh, different camo schemes and uh, and so on so you guys can have a look there but um you know if we have to sum up here you know the game is starting to take shape the kind of the dynamic is starting to understand they're going to have a very fluent battlefield here you're going to have a lot of things going on and uh, you know let's just hope that uh, you know i i could imagine that it's it's going to be very tasking on the american team to be very coordinated uh, because if the american team are to waste their resources uh, that, that means the helicopters and so, so on you know they're going to be in a very disadvantage if they're going to have to run to all the objectives if they can't use the helicopters and so on so this is very interesting to see you know how are they gonna you know tweak these dynamics so the americans doesn't wait their waste their resources and the helicopters so they can't move around and all that uh, and all that good stuff and yeah it, uh, it really 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 looks uh, looks good and uh, i really look forward to it so now i would really like to hear what you guys think what is uh, what do you think about this and uh, 
you know, please uh, leave a comment, a like, and if, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the uh, to channel. I'm gonna, of course, keep an eye out, and of course, gonna keep you updated as much as I can. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.